I thought I'd take a little time and share with you harmonic mechanism for the mind number 19. And I'm doing this without a guitar because I really do want you to think about it and consider it and consider how you play. And the topic is vibrato. So this is going to be very brief and just something to think about rather than automatically sliding into a note with some kind of wide, fast vibrato. Think about maybe approaching without any vibrato at all and then gradually adding speed like a singer would do. Sliding in or picking and establishing a pitch and then gently moving it. This kind of fast vibrato pitch wise, so it's all over the place. We're mostly just making the string sharp when we do this. So if we can come in, maybe slowly, back and forth. So this is more, if we think of a, a cellist, this is more violin or cello vibrato, which is, I'm going from, from here to here. And really you wanna feel the weight of your forearm and your elbow and let that drop so that it feels in some sense that you're hanging off the string and then just begin to shake. You'd want to be able to do this with all of your fingers. And check and see if you have a different vibrato for your first finger than your third finger. So I would recommend trying to find the slowest speed you can. Ya da 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 da. Just really gently. Think of it as just disturbing the rest of the note. So rather than letting the note come to rest, we're just giving it a little something, some energy to disturb it. If you're using reverb or delay, this new disturbed pitch, which will be slightly sharper or flatter, if you go this way, you can both pull the string sharp and make it go flat by pushing it towards the bridge or pulling it away from the bridge. You'd want to try that. Play a note, or maybe with three fingers, play a note, push towards the bridge, hear it go flat, play a note, pull back towards the nut, and you'll hear it go sharp. And then start exploring. So as I was saying, if you're playing with reverb or delay, that new pitch that you establish will rub against the one that's just come before it, which was undisturbed. So if we play undisturbed and then start to disturb it, those two pitches from the delay and your original signal are gonna mix, and you're gonna get slight modulation that's really nice. So I hope this finds you well and enjoying your music. I look forward to sharing more things with you as they come up, as I think of them, and maybe as they seem relevant. And I wish you, as always, a very, very good day.